welcome back to another vlog. Rap to you real quick. I want to enjoy the luxury of like not knowing each other for real. of the day. That's cute. Play Jazz Fruits. Jazz Fruits music from Apple Music. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> no way. Another vlog. Saturday morning realness. Before I made my bed today, I was like, you know what? Maybe I should wash my comforters and stuff because usually I do it on Sundays and I kind of want to relax tomorrow. But then I'm like, nope, I got too much to do today. So I haven't made my bed yet. And it is. Phone's dead still. <laughs> 9.04 a.m. Also, my camera's on 2%, but the fact that I drink so much water, I need to slow down my salt intake because I'm always parched. Always. I'm gonna drink this now, actually. Why are you crying? You wanna go back outside? Let's go outside, yes. Yes, do you need to go outside? Okay, that means yes. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, can you say hi to the vlog? We're starting a new vlog today. We're starting a new vlog. Can you say hi? Say good morning. Say good morning, buddy. All right, let's go outside. You guys, look how he looks at me. Like, I was down here singing very loud in like an opera voice. <laughs> And this is how he was sitting at the top of the stairs. He probably thinks I am crazy. What do you think of your mom? Like with his head tilted like this. <laughs> okay, come on, buddy. Let's go outside. You guys. You guys. Welcome back to the channel. Again, I think I already said that. If you are new here, I am Shelly, 
your new favorite youtuber and if you've already been here then it's just your favorite youtuber i might just do like a day of my life honestly my cousin's baby shower is today and i'm so excited it's her first baby you guys have seen her on the channel before if you're like og watchers my cousin isha she's a nurse and we like went to her graduation we went to her first apartment and like helped her set up and stuff if you guys remember but she is pregnant she's having her first baby we are so excited and happy for her and her boyfriend and so we're gonna go to her baby shower today and celebrate them i actually don't have much time i need to be getting ready like now because i also have to stop and get her baby shower gift she is registered at target i know target's one of the places that she's registered at so we can stop there on the way <laughs> to the baby shower i'm so last minute with everything but i've worked the last three days and it's been so hot and we've been getting so much rain which is not a bad thing because we we need it but we've been getting so much rain and when we get rain here during summertime shy baby the humidity i know houston baddies and texas baddies are probably like girl um have you seen the weather in Texas? Yes, I have. I know y'all are suffering too, but it has been so humid here. Our humidity is crazy. So I have been just feeling so lethargic, like not really wanted to do anything after I get off work. I was like on Bevcar Batty duty yesterday and I was so tired. Like my body just felt drained physically. And that's the reason why I slept in today. It was like thundering so bad. And I don't know if y'all know this or if I've ever even admitted it publicly, but I am so afraid of thunder. I'm like, God must be mad at us. Like what is going on? It was thundering so bad <laughs> this morning. Actually, I woke up at 4.15. When I looked at my, my um, iPad, it was 4.15. I was up for a little bit, but when I heard that thunder, baby covers went over the head, eyes went closed. I was not about to get up and no, I just wasn't. Went back to sleep, myself and my little boy. Leah is with my cousin. She went with my cousin and my nephew yesterday. They went skating. And so she just ended up spending the night with my cousin yesterday. Today, we're gonna go to my cousin's baby shower and I'm so excited. It's been so long since I've been to a baby shower. Years, actually. All my friends popped them out early and baby, they stopped. After that first one, we were like, <laughs> I kind of have an idea of what I want to put on today. The humidity is not doing it for my hair and I don't want to keep having to put heat on it. It's going to frizz up whether I like it or not. So I feel like I want to wear like a baseball cap just, you know, so I can maintain some sort of cuteness even if my hair starts to mess up. I'm thinking like a satin or like a silk dress that I got from Zara like last year. So I'm thinking I can put that on. It says that it's supposed to be 70 degrees, but it feels like 82 outside. So I'm thinking that I'll put on like that satin dress, some cute sneakers, baseball cap, Prada bag, Prada glasses, and we'll call it a day. But anyway, see, I'm sitting on the couch, y'all. I know y'all saw in the last vlog that we had three of the five pieces, but we got the five piece special now. So I wanna show y'all what it looks like. I got the rest of the coffee table books. And we're gonna pause a little bit, just, just a little bit on home decor because home decor is expensive. If you know, you know, home decor can be expensive. Even if you try to go the more affordable route, it's still expensive. And I got other priorities. So I need to pause on splurging on home decor pieces for now. However, I'll bring you guys along for it as, as pieces come in and things like that. The next thing that we're waiting on are the bar stools and those are already paid for. <laughs> but anyway, like I said, the total five pieces of the sofa are here. So I wanna show you all what it looks like and I'm so they, oh my god, it's so cute. None of these pillows are staying, but for now, ah, I need to put that sound effect there because that was just horrible what I just did. But you guys, the couch is here. It is huge. My friends came over the other day. We all sat around on the couch. We had our Aperol spritzes and the kids were here. My goddaughter was here, Leah was here. And we literally all fell asleep on this couch and it was still room. So that's three adult bodies, one teenage body, and then one kid body. And we were knocked out on the couch and it was still room. I kid you not, this couch is huge. I don't even know if the camera on camera it picks up or translates, but yes, this couch is huge. I love it with the coffee table. The coffee table books all are here. So I did this little flower arrangement. I got this all from Trader Joe's. If you guys don't know, if you're not already hip, I know it's like all over TikTok and stuff, but Trader Joe's has some very nice arrangements, but if you catch it early in the morning when they first put their, the flowers out, 
you can get some really, really cute like decor or like floral arrangement pieces. So I ended up getting this. Um, it has like eucalyptus, baby's bread, these like little greenery pieces, and then some little roses thrown in there. And it's just so, so cute. And I love it so much. So the next thing that I need is like art pieces on the wall. And I'm thinking what I would do, either three big pieces or two big pieces and do the art lamps above. I think that would look really nice. And then over here, I just need a credenza. I'm gonna probably get a chair. I think I told you guys that too. And then I might, I was also thinking that I could do like a cute little lamp there on top of the credenza, depending on what we go with because I'm still trying to figure that out. But yeah, here's the sofa and it's so, so nice and I love it so much. Also, this candle, you guys, this candle is linked in my Amazon storefront under Home Edition. The scent is vanilla caramel. Get this candle for your house. You don't even have to light it and it still smells up the room. It's worth every penny. I think it's like 26 bucks, but the look of it is so nice. It's like a marble. Very pretty. It goes so nicely with the table, decor, and all that. And I just love the way that this is all coming together. So I'm going to get some new pillows, but we'll worry about that or cross that bridge when the time comes. But yeah, y'all, so cute. I'm obsessed with it. Also, I want to give you guys a little update on my plants. That's what the storm <laughs> did to my plant over there. These two are fiddle leaf figs. You guys, I've had this plant for years. This was one of my first plants that I bought. This plant, I cannot get it to grow. I couldn't get it to grow for anything, but I just wanna show y'all. Hold on, I'm actually gonna move it over a little bit because they say it's not good to let your plants touch um, just because of like bugs and things like that. But yeah, anyway, so this one I just recently got like a few months ago. It's growing like a wildfire, it's crazy. I see new leaves every other day, but this one, this leaf died, what the heck? I might need to let a little bit more sunlight hit this one anyway i get a lot of questions about my plants and how i take care of them and things like that so i just want to give you guys <laughs> a little update on them so this one i had for i've had for a few months this one i got around the same time that i got this one this is actually a new leaf that just opened up a week and a half ago and then look at this we got a new leaf that's opened up or opening up and then here's another one coming through this one is like growing like crazy it loves the sun. My plants have been thriving here. Anyway, as I was saying, well, before I get off topic, this one right here, I've had for years. I have never seen this much growth. This plant should be so tall and I could never get it to really grow because I didn't get a lot of sunlight in my last house, but you guys, like this one is growing like crazy. I'm so excited. Like, look at, look at this leaf. This is new. This is a newer leaf for this one. And then here's a new one that came in. And then that right there is the stub for a new leaf that's gonna come in. Like how exciting, first of all. <laughs> Look at Milo, hair blowing in the breeze. That is the update on the plants, you guys. They are thriving here, they love it here. I'm gonna open up this, let, just let some more sun hit. But yeah, I've been spraying them with the spray bottle. I'll show you guys in a second. Let me let Milo out here. Just... Hold on, buddy. This is my, my fake fiddle leaf fig that sits outside. This is my big baby, my big monstera that I have nursed and loved on. And you guys can see a new leaf that opened up over here. Absolutely beautiful. Like this plant is one of my favorites. I recommend anyone. If you are looking for a plant, like a first plant to get, I recommend this one. The big leaves with the splits in them are just absolutely gorgeous in any space. And I have it in this like larger pot, but you don't need a big pot for a Monstera. They grow up toward the sun. Yeah, this one is my baby. I love this one so much. <laughs> and I have it sitting in the dining room. And then there's my snake plant baby over there. Here is another floral arrangement that I made. And I just put like eucalyptus leaves and then these beautiful flowers, some baby's breath. And this is the one that's sitting on the counter. I get a lot of questions about this vase. It's linked in my shop, my shop. So it'll be linked down below. It's absolutely gorgeous. I got it from at home. It's just a matte black vase that sits on the kitchen island. 
And then another update for the kitchen. We got a new little faucet. I got it off Amazon. It'll be linked in my home edition area or section on my Amazon storefront. But yes, I got this off of Amazon. These little hand soap and lotion containers along with this tray. It's like a concrete tray. It'll be linked in my home edition section on Amazon. I've been going crazy with Amazon, which I think I'm gonna do a whole video on stuff that I got from Amazon because or for like home decor because I feel like all the girlies are moving and it's just so much good stuff that's on Amazon. I got a lot of stuff from Amazon lately. Yeah, but I got this, um, these two, and then these little stickers, you just put them on yourself. It comes in inside of the kit, packet, whatever. And yeah, I just thought they looked so much better than me just having the Dove soap, hand soap container up here. Super cute, right? I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I need to show you guys. I don't think so, but I do need to go upstairs and start getting ready. Started filming a TikTok and completely neglected the vlog. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! The fact that I sing everything <laughs> so annoying. I'm gonna be late. Lucky for me, my family doesn't watch my videos. They don't support. You need some bronzer. But I'm not gonna put it on my forehead because I'm wearing a hat. Y'all see how that just made it look like I've been laying in the sun for a year? Yeah. I'm always super self-conscious about showing myself sitting down on camera because the rolls be rolling. Like, why? This boy and his little attitude. It's so funny when dogs get attitudes. Like, <laughs> who do you think you are? This is what I'm thinking the vibe is. I know it's a bit of a mess, but this is the vibe for the outfit. Do these sunglasses, the New York hat, this new balance. Let's see what it gives. I need to change my earrings. I love this dress so much. Can't believe like I haven't worn it since I got it. I just took the tag off today. I'm thinking one ring, one ring watch, and then this little necklace. I cannot believe it. it was three dollars and 88 cents at walmart moment of truth are we gonna wear the hat here's the outfit of the day the satin dress like i said so many times i got it from zara last year new york baseball cap is from amazon it's in my storefront prada sunglasses this oversized blazer is from h and i'll try to find a link and then i'm wearing my prada brushed cleo leather bag new balance i will have these linked down below also silver accessories this necklace i will find a link for it and link it for you guys because it is so pretty and so dainty three dollars and 88 cents you can't beat it i'm gonna see if i can vlog a little bit of the shower but if not then i'll see you guys at target almost forgot that i had this cute little cup and i didn't finish my coffee so i'm gonna switch it over actually let me guys Perfect. Okay. Let's go get my purse.
it is much later not much later but like a little a little bit later it's five o'clock i'm currently sitting in traffic i'm on my way into the city one of the things that i really love about vlogging is that vlogging forces me to get out of the house like i have just been enjoying my house loving being in the house just don't ever really want to leave especially coming into the city because my cousin's calling me i'm gonna call her back but especially coming into the city because it takes so much time because it's always so much traffic i love vlogging because it forces me to get out of the house and go and do things whether it be by myself with other people whatever so today i made the decision i'm dressed it's early i don't have any other plans i'm gonna go into the city and i just want to go to this one place like try out a place that i haven't been to before that has a really good aperol spritz or they're like known for aperol spritz i just want to go and do something by myself it's been a while since i've had like a solo date i really just want to do that for myself today i'm like embarking on this journey again where i'm like dating myself and loving on myself and you guys know you guys have been seeing it this is just another way for me to really just like bask in my feminine energy it's not about a man doing anything for you or whatever it's really just about taking care of yourself and loving on yourself and nurturing yourself and knowing that you deserve all the finer things in life not like materialistic bullshit or whatever but just the finer things in life experiences oh shoot i was supposed to get off right here ah there's no way i can get over there it's not gonna happen i feel like so many people feel like when you bask in your feminine energy it has to do with a man because a man possesses or is supposed to possess masculine energy personally i feel softer when i'm loving on myself and making sure that i'm taking care of me nurturing my mental health just everything that takes care of me taking care of me <laughs> making sure that i feel good that i look good it has absolutely nothing to do with a man i will say a man possessing strong masculine energy definitely helps with you know a woman being able to that honestly was something that really did help like who i was dating really helped me like start to you know feel like oh okay like he got this like i can i can chill you know ever since then like it was go time from there i'm like i will never allow myself to feel like i gotta be this like strong and I gotta do it all alone and whatever like no that's not that's not who I am and you guys know I always talk about the book the audacity to be queen it talks about like you can have masculine energy it's important for women to have that but allow your feminine energy to take over when it's necessary and I promise you it changes it changes everything the way that you handle people the way that you handle yourself the way that you handle situations you know what you allow to stress you out what you allow to have access to you it all changes when you accept and you allow your feminine energy to take over it just it changes everything it really does it changes everything and i really wish that a lot of women even women close to me closest to me i wish that they would they would allow their feminine energy to take over um, i know that it's very hard because we've been as black women especially we've been put in situations where it just it's hard we don't know how no one has ever taught us but what i want a lot of black women to know and understand is that we are the epitome of femininity the most feminine women that i've witnessed and seen in my life have been black women i don't take advice about you know what a feminine woman looks like or whatever from any woman other than a black woman because that's the example for me and i feel like other races or whatever should do the same and also too what i need a lot of people to understand is that being feminine doesn't just look like this it doesn't just look like wearing your hair a certain way or dressing a certain way or doing your makeup a certain way it doesn't it doesn't look like that and I feel like a lot of women like to, you know, put this like image out there of what it looks like to be a feminine woman. But no, that's not it. It's more so the energy that you possess and the best way to allow your feminine energy to take over is to, you know, figure out what makes you feel the most feminine, what makes you feel the most soft, what makes you feel you know the most at peace what makes you feel the most beautiful and when you figure those things out then you figure out how to you know accept and allow your feminine energy to take over i feel like online we see so many women that's telling you oh don't do your makeup like this that is not what a feminine soft woman looks like like shut up if i want to draw 
brown lip liner and pink gloss on my lips, then so be it. I know a lot of y'all probably know what I'm talking about with that. And I don't even know how I just got on that subject, but yeah, I just wanted to talk to y'all while I was driving because I'm in traffic. As always, going into the city. Oh. <laughs> so anyway, got on here to tell y'all that I'm about to go to this restaurant. I forgot the name of it. I have it in my GPS right now, but I'm going to go to this restaurant so that I can have me an Aperol spritz. It's what I enjoy doing and also have me a little, probably like a margarita pan pizza or something. I don't know. I might go stop at Whitney's house. If it's not too late, then I'll go over there. But yeah, I'm going by myself to this restaurant and I'm actually really excited about it. Like I tried calling my friends, a couple of my friends to see if they wanted to go. Like everyone was kind of busy and I'm okay with that. Like I don't feel any type of way. I'm like, okay, well, everyone's busy. I'll go by myself. I can enjoy my own company. I'm a good time. I don't care what nobody say. I'm funny as hell. <laughs> we'll see what I get into later. This camera is moving and I really hope it did not ruin this whole clip. But anyway, it's been 10 minutes. Let me, let me shut y'all off. two of the sweetest couples all i know is that i'm gonna do that more often i'm gonna go and meet new people because i met two of the sweetest couples today we exchanged like information <laughs> and all of that i feel like i've been doing that all year like that was actually one of my new year's resolutions was to like meet new people be more open and receptive like new relationships and so on and so forth. So I feel like today was such a good time. The food was good, the drinks were good. It's called Portofino Pizzeria or Pizzeria Portofino, something like that. I'll put it on the screen. But yes, had a really, really, really good time. I stayed for hours. I'm finally home. I showered, took off my makeup and I'm in bed. And I just wanted to just tell you guys about my night and had really good conversation. I love having conversations that don't revolve around men. I like having conversations about different things. Like it doesn't have to be about like politics and stuff like that or anything political or whatever. It's just like conversation about like family and upbringing and the plans that you have for your life and about your children and you know, just things like that. I love having conversations, like meaningful conversations. Not to say that conversations about relationships or whatever aren't meaningful, but like I don't like to sit and just talk solely about men i want to talk about things other things that matter outside of that and even just conversations that like deep dive into career and where you see yourself in the next few years and new places that you want to visit places that you visited before different experiences that you've had in your life and just everything in between i just i enjoy conversations like that i took things from the conversations tonight that i can carry with me that just means a lot to me i didn't really vlog while i was at the restaurant because i just i mean i don't know these people i don't want to just shove the camera in anyone's face and i want to make sure that i'm being respectful when i'm out i'm trying to do better at that of not having like random people's faces in my vlogs like i said i just i just really enjoyed myself and i'm excited to do more of that like i was talking to this one one of the couples that i was talking to they live in the city the other couple doesn't they were just here visiting but the couple that i was talking to that lives in the city they gave me so many suggestions for places to like visit and bars and you know restaurants and stuff like that so i'm excited to go and check out all the these like different places and stuff and it's funny because i'm a chicagoan like i'm from chicago but there are so many new restaurants 
that I've never heard of, never tried. So it's always fun to like be a tourist in your own city. And I feel like tonight was just such a vibe. It was like me by myself and just meeting new people. And I'm happy that no one was available to go with me because it really like forced me to do something about myself and not feel like I had to rely on anyone else. And though I've done that before where I like go to restaurants by myself and just like eat and stuff, whatever. But like, I never really go to restaurants by myself and like sit at the bar. Like usually I go to restaurants by myself and I sit at a table by myself. That more so sends a message like, I don't wanna be bothered or I don't want anyone talking to me. And when you go to the bar, it's more of an inviting space and lets people know that you want to socialize and so i feel like that's why like people were like gravitating me at the gravitating towards me at the bar and i'm really happy that it happened that way but anyway tomorrow whitney and i are supposed to take the kids to the like they're having like the food trucks in chicago this weekend i think they do this every year in the city if i remember correctly but yeah so we're supposed to take the girls there and i was gonna go and see whitney tonight but i actually stayed out much later than I anticipated and I need to I needed to get home to my little boy and like make sure that he went out and stuff so I'm gonna see you guys in the morning I'm gonna bring this vlog into tomorrow I hope y'all are enjoying it so far don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the morning Jazz Fruits Music. Jazz Fruits Music from Apple Music. We're getting ready to leave or like or i'm rushing i feel like i'm always rushing these days <laughs> i need to do better with time management but i was really trying to make sure i got my content up because i've been trying to stay this consistent you know being present on all of my social sites or social platforms posted two tiktoks today if you guys don't follow me on tiktok go do that you will not be disappointed especially those of you who ask for makeup content I post a lot of makeup content on TikTok, so I have not got away from posting um, makeup content. I can't find my lip liner, so I'm going to use this contour stick. Actually, I'm going to need my lip liner. I really just wanted to go super, super natural today. The older I get, the more I appreciate my natural beauty, so I just like to enhance it a little bit also the more i get settled into my house the more like items i find that i haven't really used or worn like these earrings i've never worn them got them from zara a few months ago i actually showed them in a vlog i never wore them before and then today i'm like i could wear this blue shirt with like my prada stuff because this blue is just perfect to wear with um silver we were gonna take the train but i feel like we're probably gonna miss it because i had to go and pick leah up from her dad's today it wasn't a part of the plan but you know stuff happens so i went and picked her up and brought her back this way so that she could get ready and that sort of threw off the schedule a little bit not gonna do any lashes or anything with my lashes <laughs> i have like three left I'm gonna line my lips. I don't 
don't even think I really started off the vlog today. So, welcome back to another day in the vlog, you guys. I think I like, showed you guys some clips this morning. I'm currently washing the sheets and things, but this is what I'm wearing. I'm just wearing these blue jean shorts from Zara. Tank is from Zara. Button up is also from Zara. And I got my Prada bag. Sunnies, and then I'm gonna wear my um, my Nikes. I think I might change into my other Prada shades, the more cat-like ones. But this is the look. We're in silver accessories today. So cute. Let me grab my rings, and we're gonna get out of here. We are back home and it's later, it's 9.51. Milo and I just came back from a walk. We enjoyed ourselves today, I will say that. We we had a good time today. I had to come back home. We were gonna stay the night in the city at Whitney's house, but I had to come back home because I really wanna edit this vlog and have it up for you guys tomorrow. So I'm gonna start editing tonight and I'm just gonna end it tonight because I wanna start up a new vlog tomorrow. My hair is like a frizzy, mess it was so hot over there like my i had my hair up in a clip and i just let it down but so we went to the chicago food truck festival we were standing in line for like over an hour for the lobster truck and i ended up getting a lobster sandwich but then the can't believe it's not meat truck was out there if you guys don't know that's the vegan spot that's in chicago can't believe it's not me they have really good food it, there's always just a long line i don't know the best times to go when it's not a line every time i've been there the line has been long but the food is really good so i went to their food truck i got the they have these like vegan philly cheese steak rolls egg rolls or something like that and then i got the mac and cheese oh, their mac and cheese slaps all their food is good they the pizza puffs are really good too and they are plant-based so if you're ever in chicago definitely check out can't believe it's not me the lines at every food truck were just long it was hot i couldn't really vlog i was really just people watching i've really been falling in love with chicago again like i've always loved chicago like it's home to me i started to feel a bit disconnected from the city over like the last few years i don't know like just this year like i feel like i'm or just like this summer has just made me fall back in love with the city everyone today was just so beautiful they were so nice it just felt so good to like be amongst all of the beautiful melanated people i just uh i was like people watching i had my sunglasses on every time i put on my dark sunglasses because you can't really see me when i have these on so i like have these on and i just like people watch and that's all i was doing today and i was just admiring all the black beauty that was out there today it wasn't too much it was just a good time they were playing music all the good food people were some people were having drinks it was just 
it was a good time i love that i get the best of both worlds like i live in the suburb i don't know if you guys know that but i live in the outskirts so i live in like chicagoland area but i live on the outskirts so i don't live in the inner city i get the best of both worlds because i can go into the city enjoy the perks of being in the city and then come back home to where it's like more slow living after we left the food trucks like we went and hung out at whitney's for a little bit just to like wind down and chill and then we had to come home i was gonna spend the night out there but i had to come home because i really just wanted to edit this video <laughs> I'm like obsessed with editing my videos. I get so many comments from you guys telling me that you just have been really enjoying my vlogs. Like you love the music, you love the editing style, and that just makes me feel so good because I really do enjoy editing my vlogs and just like, you know, being creative. And I love the fact that you guys enjoy it and it makes me even more excited to edit them. So I really want to get I really want to get the vlog edited but why is my hair i'm like looking at my hair in the viewfinder because it's just looking crazy today but anyway i'm going to take a shower do like my skincare and stuff and wind down for the night and start editing this vlog so i think i'm just gonna end it here i love you guys so much and thank you so much for all of your love and support on my channel do not forget to like comment and subscribe and i will catch you guys in the next one can you tell the vlog good night? Say good night, everybody. We'll see you later. Say we'll see you later. Doesn't it look like he's smiling? <laughs> tell the vlog bye. Say we'll see you in the next one. Rainy days don't seem so wet. Stormy nights don't stay. From the moment that we met